Hey everybody, Clumsy Dad here. Welcome back to the Vloggy Gun. Hope you're doing well. Today I'd like to do a little uh, tribute, kind of a first here on the Vloggy Gun, to um, an individual I found recently through the wonderful portal of YouTube, Dr. Lewis Pulsifer. Uh, this channel is called Game Designs. Dr. Lewis has an interesting way of breaking down the contemporary and historical gaming market and kind of penetrating through all the uh, the fuss and the mayhem of day-to-day -day news and really gets into the details of gaming. Of course, some of his major topics are game design and publishing issues, but a lot of what he talks about I enjoy regarding what I'm calling the architecture of gaming, how it's put together, kind of the hierarchy of different types and really probing into what is gaming. Sometimes he'll take it into kind of comparing the RPG to the video game, to the tabletop, kind of relating back and forth between those areas. And then one of the key distinctions that he makes, whoa, house of cards just fell. One of the key distinctions that he makes that I really enjoy is talking about how games need to be um, problems to solve in different ways, whereas a puzzle only has one solution one dominant strategy. So that's something important to understand that when you're in a game competing, and according to him, which I agree with, um, it seems like the best games are two player where you have that one on one back and forth and kind of uh, clear information pathways where a lot of things can happen and there's different strategies for success. He kind of goes in and talks about overall um, social versus social and family gaming kind of like um, which is great but it's kind of like the lighter side of gaming where you have more players there's more going on there's more chance more randomness can be fun but it's not quite the pure gaming um, of years gone by uh, let's say where it's really focused solely on strategy then you know he'll talk about break down theme and talk about the myths about theme and what that really is. Mechanics, of course, he talks about here and there. One term he likes is transparency in gaming. Sorry, it's a little bit blurry in my video today. I apologize. Transparency in gaming, which he talks about as being uh, the clarity of the game, the ability to understand, something I very much appreciate, too, um, that being um, kind of clarity of rules and play and relativity what makes something a hit what makes something a classic uh, we keep some things around just be out of habit are uh, th some things a hit just because um, they fit the market appropriately now and not really based on the their purity or essence of play I'm very much in um, agreement with him on those ideas and also uh, some ideas about Kind of, are we really pushing ourselves enough in the contemporary market for thinking, or is there some kind of coddling around, you know, ideas or themes or cute little tricks? Uh, just kind of making gameplay superficial, more feel good. And overall, he talks a lot about depth. Uh, some videos uh, about uh, presentations he does about, you know, getting to the magic and the joy of gaming, or what I call the purity. One interesting phrase he had was the um, games, he was actually quoting someone else, games are basically a series of interesting decisions and kind of that challenge um, of ongoing strategy and uh, thinking in an in enjoying way uh, that makes games what they are. And he backs all this up with a lot of stats and references. So to wrap it up, just a shout out to Dr. Lewis Pulsifer again. Thank you guys and good luck gaming.